mind this is your love reading for the month of july i want to say thank you for being here love bugs let's see what's coming up for you air sign people so this is the month of july and a lot of you relationships are going to be ending because we have uh, the eclipse full moon in the month of july and it has to do with the capricorn so it's about reorganization okay so hair sign people aquarian gemini and libra let's see the energy that is coming out you have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon time apart from your partner is on the horizon so air sign people there could be some breaks up that is coming in the second message we have is uh, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your type and uh, exceptional, okay? So, you know, sometimes we meet people and we're not aware that they are our twin flames or soulmate. So I see um, this is happening. My blouse kind of look weird, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of cute blouse. I haven't had it on for a while. So new love is going to be coming in. So be open up for the energies because a lot of new love is going to be coming in. But we also have separation. So soulmate twin flame energies could be coming up also. Be aware of this. This is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Whatever is happening and transpire. So let's take a look and see what is coming up. We see separation because of money is going to be coming up. So whatever the issue is. I see that some of you are going to be separated because of money. I see past love is coming back in your life. However, this is happening in transpire. Expect that someone from the past is returning. A lot of fun times is here, but I see because of money, um, a lot of you are going to be separated. Um, you men um, are standing in your energies and past love is coming back to you. Then we see a lot of dating is going on. People are having fun. Um, the shutdown is open up. People are having fun. I see the wall, the wallflowers. People are here. So whatever is transpired, the wallflower people. I see young men between the ages of eighteen and twenty-five is here. Um, you guys are doing a lot of dating, seeing a lot of people, and I see some of you want your freedom. So whatever is happening and transpired, I see freedom is going to be happening. Now the people who are looking in. And their lies uh, is going to be the working people. The high professional people are looking in at their lives and seeing what is happening and what is transpiring. They want to make changes in their lives. So this is going to be good. So ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is really happening for you guys for love. So um, we see some of you are going to make a decision. You're going to be making a decision because of... Uh, some issues and situation with money so you're going to be making a decision whether or not you stay in your relationship or you're going to be leaving your relationship i see a situation that some of you are dealing with a fire sign man whoever this man is and whatever is happening i see you're no more happy with this person i see some of you are going to be finding out some secrets about this man this man is an aries leo or sagittarius man 50 years and older a whole lot of secret is coming out about this man. This man could be someone from the past. So whoever this man is, it could have been someone from the past who you were dealing with. A lot of secrets is coming out about this person. I see money is going to be offered where there is a new start. So I see you men are going to be having this new start. A whole lot of obstacles are here. A whole lot of obstacles with relationship. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarian man, a whole lot of obstacles with the relationship. I see some of you are going to be ha having a new offer. A new love offer is going to be coming in. Whoever this person is, is financial stable. I see a lot of people are in their heads. So you're dating, you're worried, there's nothing going on. You're waiting, hoping for someone new to come in. I see a whole lot of news is going to be coming in, but this is going to be positive news. Especially for the singles who were looking um, for love. I see a whole lot of communication, but also a whole lot of situation could be coming in where a whole lot of you are going to be connecting um, with the Sagittarians. The Sagittarians, um, the Leos are standing strong and the Aries, okay? So a lot of you are going to be making decision to leave the Aries. 
then we see love is going to be offered to you um, wallflower people whoever you are whatever is transpiring i see a lot of love i see if you're single looking for love love is going to be coming in a message is coming up so i see wallflower people people who are dating um singles you're standing up in this reading and i see communication is going to be coming in especially for you ladies 50 years and older mature women i see communication um aquarian women ex is going to be dating a lot and this is going to be good i see you're going to be meeting someone um this person is going to be awakening your heart chakra and this is good then i see a cycle is going to be over some of you are going to be receiving um and realizing that you're no longer single relationship has been going on i see you aquarians are dealing with a lot of communication um communication some of you want to end your relationship whoever is in a relationship with a pisces cancer or a scorpion you want to end your relationship so whoever these people are and whatever is transpiring around you guys uh, um i see really a whole lot of transition um that is going to be happening and that is going to be transpiring so um we're going to be looking at the situation where it has to do with money because there is some um issue that is coming up that has to do with money so you got you have to be careful as some of you could be involved with um someone and you're going to be realizing that this person was only in the relationship because of money so when we look at the energy of money it has to do with um a capricorn an aries and a sagittarian um man however this sagittarian man is and whatever is transpiring you got to be really really aware of uh, what is happening and transpiring because i see a whole lot of decisions is going to be made so you got to be aware of the transition so let's see whoever is in a relationship um i see pluto scorpion and libran okay so this is the energy of the scorpion and the libran so some of you can be separating from a scorpion and a libran so be aware of that some of you are going to be making the decision to separate from um maybe your libran separating from a scorpion there we see um the sun and venus the sun and venus this is has to do with the leo and the leo and the taurus whatever is happening and transpiring some of you are going to be overcoming a situation with a leo and a taurus so then we look at the energy with secrets some of you could be meeting someone um this person is a scorpion um and some of you are going to be meeting a uh, um uh, a virgo scorpion and a virgo and i see you're going to be finding out some secrets about a scorpion and a virgo from past life whoever these people is and whatever is happening some of you could be in a relationship with a scorpion and a virgo and you're going to be finding out something then we see scorpion and the taurus so scorpion and the taurus uh, is coming back in your life so some of you a scorpion and a taurus is going to be coming back in your life they want to heal a situation with you okay so the ex is coming back then we see the sagittarian and the cancer sagittarian and cancer so whoever is in a, a relationship with a sagittarian and a cancer there's a lot of obstacles a lot of burdens um that is going to be coming up in your relationship and it is created by your by money okay the the the, the burdens are created because of money um, that is creating um, burdens and obstacles in your relationship. Then we see the Aquarians. You Aquarians could be getting divorced or um, you Aquarians could be asking for a divorce. So I see this coming up for Aquarians that you Aquarians could be asking for a divorce. Okay, so that's coming up. When we look at fun time, a lot of conflicts you could be seeing a capricorn or a gemini you gemini um could be communicating with a capricorn you gemini could be um realizing that a capricorn you had a lot of fun time with a capricorn so whoever you gemini's are you're reminiscing on a capricorn and some fun time you had um some of you are going to be dealing 
um, with a Capricorn and a Taurus. Now, whatever this is, uh, good news. Some of you are going to be having some real fun time, relationship-wise, intimate-wise, with a Capricorn and a Taurus. And this is uh, going to be good. Then we look at you men. You men were having some obstacles. The obstacles was created by a group of people. Um, some of you men could be realizing or you could be having and seeing a Cancer, a Aries and a Scorpio. A Cancer, a Aries and a Scorpio. So I see that this is a love triangle that some of you are dealing with a Cancer, a Aries and a Scorpion. So there could be some love triangle and some situations that some of you or trying to work out with these people. Then um, we see the energy that a Pisces woman, um, a love has been offered to some of you from a Pisces woman, a Taurus woman, and a, um, a Virgo woman. So a lot of you um, men 50 years and older could be having some situation with a Pisces woman, a Virgo woman and a, um, a, 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 a and so when we look at uh, Taurus, Virgo and Pisces, okay. So if you're single and you're 50 years and older, you could be meeting these people. I see these people, a Pisces, uh, a Taurus and a Virgo is going to be coming in, asking you for love. Then we see the energy of Uranus, and mars and the energy of uranus in mars is that you aquarians are going to be receiving some message from a cancer whoever this cancer is you could have date this cancer you could be single you could have met this cancer before or you could be dating this cancer you're going to be receiving some message we're going to be finding out what is the message as we go along you ladies 50 years and older i see the energy of uh, a scorpion, you could be um, obsessive over a scorpion, okay? There's some obsessiveness where um, this could be an ex, this could be someone you're getting divorced, but I see some obsessiveness. It's coming, either you're obsessed over a scorpion at, um, or you Librans could be also obsessed over a scorpion. You could be very obsessed over a scorpion, you're dating this person, it feels good and you're very obsessed over this person. Now, the energy of the sun come double up. And you young men between the ages of 18 and 45, the energy of the sun is here double up. So what is this saying is that some of you are going to be happy with a Leo and some of you are going to be happy with a Cancer. So I see some successful situation is going to be coming in where some of you were dealing with a Leo and a Cancer and you're going to be very successful over whatever the issue and the situation is. I see a cycle is going to be over. I see a whole lot of you um, um, is in love with, because um, we have Mercury and the Moon. Mercury and the Moon is um, Virgo and Cancer. So the Virgo and the Cancer, some of you could be freeing yourself from a relationship with a Virgo and a Cancer. So I see you're stepping back, you're removing yourself from a relationship with a Virgo and a Cancer. So that is good. Now, a whole lot of conflicts. Conflicts is coming up. Some of you are going to be having a lot of conflicts with a Pisces and a Virgo. Um, you could be finding out that a Pisces and a Virgo has been in communication. And I see a whole lot of you are going to be very upset um, that this person, it could be an ex, the Virgo could be an ex of the Pisces, but you're going to be finding out that uh, the Pisces and the Virgo is in some form of communication. And I see you're just going to be release yourself from this relationship because you realize there's never ever going to be a change. So whatever is happening and transpiring and um, however this is coming out, you're going to be really finding out about this Virgo and the Pisces, and you're going to free yourself from the Pisces. So if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, you're going to be finding out about the Virgo and the Pisces, and you're going to be freeing yourself and leaving this relationship. So be aware, um, there was a past, past someone in the past, um, a scorpion, and um, for some of you, it's a scorpion. Some of you, 
is a Virgo that you're going to be finding out some secrets about, okay? So be aware of that. Now, we see the energy of the snake. And the energy of the snake comes with the energy of money. So people in relationship, there is a snake around you. Um, the energy of the snake is your partner. And you're, I see you're going to be completely, this person is very clever or they think that they are clever. Um, so you got to be aware because this person is only in a relationship because of money. Now, it could be um, the energy of uh, the Aquarians and the Librans. So I see Aquarian and Libras are going to be connecting in relationship. However, this is transpiring and this is going to be good. Um, um, and if you're in a relationship, if you're looking for a relationship, I see new love is going to be coming in and it's going to be coming in between um, the Aquarians and the Librans. And that is good. Um, then we see the energy of the snake is by the Cancer and the Sagittarius. Cancer and Sagittarius and the Leos and the Taurus. So be aware and open up your eyes if you're in a relationship with a Leo, um, a Taurus, a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Be aware because there's some um, sort of a snake that is going on. Miro. So someone from the past is, is could be coming back or someone from the past, you're going to be finding out some secrets about a Leo man and a Taurus man. So they're finding out, or you could be, if you're in a relationship with a Leo man or a Taurus man, you're going to be finding out some secret about this person. Information is going to be coming out. If you're also in a relationship or you're seeing a, a Pisces and a Virgo, I see you could be realizing that they are a soulmate, okay? Then we're moving on with the mask. And the mask is that some of you are in a relationship and uh, whoever you're in a relationship with, a whole lot of obstacles, and it's because this person is wearing a mask, it's a Cancer, it's an Aries, and it's a Scorpion. So if you're in a relationship with a Cancer, a Cancer, a Aries, and a Scorpion, be aware of what is transpiring because they're wearing a mask. The masks come up for these people. Heartbreaks, deep hurt, sadness, separation has to do with people who are in relationship with Capricorns and Taurus. So I see if you're in a relationship with Capricorn and Taurus, there could be heartbreaks. You could have a lot of fun with this person, but this person is separating themselves from you. It could be very heart aching a heartbreak that is coming up some of you are chasing you're dating um people and you're chasing behind you're chasing a pisces um some of you are chasing a cancer some of you are chasing after um a scorpion so it depends on who the person is. They could be chasing you or you could be chasing them. But I see this is coming up. And especially the singles who are dating, this is coming up for you guys. The people that haven't been having any relationship and haven't been dating is that you are addicted to a relationship. And you need to let go of this relationship because it's not working out anymore. So um, you're ad addicted to a Pisces and some of you are addicted to um, uh, a Taurus. Some of you are addicted um, to um, a Virgo. Okay? So you got to let go of these people because the relationship is over. It is time to move on. Let go. They need to let you go. You need to let them go. But let go. Okay? Then I see a lot of you are going um, looking for relationship therapy. So you can also check out my website if you want to find out something about love. I do love reading, so check out my website. So I see that um, some of you who were in a relationship or is falling in love, um, especially you Gemini and a Cancer, I see your relationship is going to be over. So Geminis who are in relationship with Cancer, I see you're going to free yourself from this Cancer. It is the best thing you could ever have done. I see you're going to be looking for help after you release yourself from this cancer. You're freeing yourself from a cancer, you Geminis, okay? Then I see um, the energy of uh, um, some of you are going to be going in therapy. 
um, looking for relationship therapy and it's because you free yourself from a Pisces and a Virgo and you're looking for help, okay? So you Geminis that is in a relationship with a Cancer, it never works, okay? And I see finally you're ending this cycle with this person. There is no new beginning for you and this Cancer. The last message is that some of you are healing your heart and this is good. And this has to do with young people between the ages of... Uh, 18 and 25, you're really, really healing your hearts because of some deceptiveness that you had to deal with a Leo and a Cancer, and you successfully release yourself from a Leo and a Cancer. This, these people were very deceptive. They have created a whole lot of issues and heartbreaks in your life, and you finally, finally release yourself from this Leo and this Cancer. So you're healing your heartbreak because of the lies and deceptiveness uh, um, from a Leo and a Cancer and some false deceptiveness, what they have done and created in your world. A whole lot of you are going to be meeting your soulmate, um, Geminis. So if you're looking for a soulmate, you're dating a Gemini, this could be your soulmate, okay? So I see the mirror and a lot of people are going to be finding out things about a Leo man and a Taurus man. A lot of you, some of you are going to be separating from a Leo man and a Taurus man because of some false and deceptiveness. Secrets are going to be coming out, okay? And it has to do with um, someone you are in a relationship with as a Scorpion and a, um, a Virgo, a Scorpion and a Virgo. You're going to be finding out that a Scorpion and a Virgo was in a relationship when you were seeing this person. So this is going to be coming out. So there is um, a lot of information and um, for the singles who are still holding on to their old relationship, it is time to let go of this relationship because it doesn't really serve any more purpose. It's not helping you, it's just working against you. It is hindering you from moving on. It is time that we let go, let go, we gotta let go and let go and release ourselves from um, these relationship and people and situation that is bombarding us in order for us to move forward. Congratulations to you, Geminis, that is releasing yourself from the skin, sir. I see high professional people, you're going to be meeting your soulmate and your soulmate is going to be coming in up uh, in a Sagittarian form. So this is good. Um, complications, but in the, in the center is that I see that some of you are going to be heartbroken. Some of you were having fun with a Capricorn and a Taurus. And I see um, if you were seeing a Capricorn or a Taurus, I see that um, they're going to be... Um, um, you're going to be heartbroken because they're going to be ending the relationship, okay? And um, afterwards, you're going to be finding out that this Capricorn went to a Taurus or the Taurus went to a Capricorn. So it's very, very important to know that it has nothing to do with you. I think heart sign people are just choosing for themselves. So I love you guys. Um, singles, there is, it is time to mingle in this month. Get out there, mingle. If you would like to see the extended of this reading, because um, the extendeds are um, in individual, so the Aquarian, Gemini, and Libran, please use the link here in order to become a member of the channel. You have to take um, the medium abandonment, the medium um, subscription, and um, subscribe here and notification here. I love you guys. Love is so beautiful. And for the people who are heartbroken, I'm sending you a lot of love to heal whatever is going on with you. Life is full of surprise. Enjoy the moment. Namaste.